In today's video, I'm going to talk about YouTube's policy relating to thumbnail images, and I'm going to talk a little about my own experience with YouTube thumbnails, the legal aspect, as well as taking random images off of Google for YouTube thumbnails. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. So, when it comes to a thumbnail, there's a few things that people don't understand. First, when it comes to reusing images and when it comes to copyright. YouTube's copyright policy states, respect copyright only upload videos that you made or that you are authorized to use. This means don't upload videos you didn't make or use content in your videos that someone else owns the copyright to, such as music tracks, snippets of copyrighted programs, or videos made by other users without necessary authorizations. Visit our Copyright Center for more information. Another policy worth mentioning is this. Which types of work are subject to copyright? Audiovisual works, sound recordings, written works, visual works such as paintings, posters, and advertisements, video games, and computer software, and dramatic works. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. I will also leave a link to YouTube's policies in the description if you want to check that out. But there is no policy for thumbnails or images. It's not listed. The word image is not on that list. And the last thing I wanted to share is, can YouTube determine copyright ownership? No. YouTube isn't able to determine ownership disputes. And read the last part mentioned here, quote, after this it's up to the parties involved to resolve the issue in court. Try and remember that last part. I'm going to move on to my own experiences for now. So when it comes to custom images I have made in the past, this is the way I have always looked at it. If it's really important to you, you put your YouTube name on the image, or the logo, or the channel URL, the custom link, you put that on the image if you really want nobody to use it. Because one of two things is going to happen. Number one, people won't use that image if somebody else's channel logo is on it. They won't use the image if somebody else's channel URL is on it. Why? Because it's representing another person's channel. Number two, and think about this if you were the first person to make the image and somebody else decided to use your custom image, okay? The other person would essentially be doing free advertising for you. And even if the other person that's reusing the image changed it around a little bit. Let's say they edit your image and they take off your logo or whatever and they replace it with their own or simply delete that part of the image. Well, there you go. They changed part of the image and what it looks like. And I guarantee you that image will not look the same or at the very least won't look as good as the original image did because they made a change to it and altered the original appearance. It won't look the same as yours. Even if you made a custom image without your logo on it, or without your channel link on it, and it's just a plain basic image, well, shit, it's a plain basic image. Obviously, the person that created that image does not, or better yet, should not care if somebody else is going to potentially use that or not, especially if their logo or name is not on it. And like I said, even if somebody does use an image with your logo on it or your channel link, it's free advertising. Why would you want to stop somebody from advertising your channel for you? In terms of my own thumbnail images or ones I've used, I've used regular 1280 by 720 images off of Google for my thumbnails for some of my videos. Random images off of Google for the most part that I edit sometimes. On the other hand, I've also made my own from scratch that have taken me over three hours to make in the past. And I've also had other YouTubers use my custom thumbnail image for their own video, including Ali A. The biggest Call of Duty YouTuber on the planet has taken one of my images from one of my videos in the past and used it for his own video. So the way I look at it, if one of the biggest YouTubers on the planet is going to take mine, Guess what? I don't care either. If I take a random image off of Google and it ends up being a YouTuber's thumbnail, oh well. 
you don't have the copyright to it, chances are. If you have a problem with me using your image, hey, why don't you talk to LEA for me and see what you can do? LEA had over 7 million subscribers when he used one of my thumbnail images. I've had another guy take one from me that I made and he had over 15,000 subscribers at the time. And I have just barely over a thousand right now. So I do not give a shit at this point. People will do it regardless is the way I look at it. Another thing that kind of relates to this, many of you don't know this about me, but I've taken many classes on business law and business classes in general. So I already knew a lot about this stuff when it comes to copyright and trademarks, even before I started my YouTube channel. But basically what I'm trying to get at here is this. If a person does not, I repeat, does not, have their image or logo submitted as an official trademark or copyright, then they can't do anything about it. And name one person that's going to submit a copyright record over a YouTube thumbnail image. Really nobody is going to do that. I mean, at the time of making this video, July of 2019, it costs between $35 and $90 to have a copyright or to file one at the US Copyright Office or to do it online at their website. There is nobody that's going to spend money or just to spend that amount of time it would take to protect something as stupid as a YouTube thumbnail image. Ask a lawyer about this. Unless that image is a registered copyright image or if the image contains a trademark in it, for example, a logo that's registered, there is nothing anyone can do or say that could cause you to not use that image as your thumbnail for your video unless it lands on one of those two things from a legal standpoint. Recently, and this is the reason why I decided to make this video, I've had this guy with 2,000 subscribers come to my channel and complain about me using an image that he apparently made. And he's brought four or five of his little friends to bitch about that in the comment section of one of my videos. Once again, larger channel, it's not a copyright image. Hell, we don't even know who actually made the image because guess what? There's no name or logo on it. So, what do I have to say about it? Well, get a lawyer. Have fun spending money on a lawyer over a thumbnail image that you technically don't even have the rights to. And what is the value of a YouTube thumbnail? I'll tell you right now, it's basically worthless. It has no dollar value. You would have to have it as a registered copyright image. And like I showed you from YouTube's policies, they won't do anything over something so petty. It's not even listed under their policy. Even if they did take it down, let's say that happens. The only thing that would happen is the thumbnail would have to be replaced. That would be it. And for the record, I personally do not care if somebody wants to use one of my custom images that I have made. Go ahead. Free advertising for me. You probably wouldn't even like most of the thumbnails I made anyways because it's my own personal taste. It's what I like. And everybody is different. Anyway, I just wanted to cover the basic points I had over this topic. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave a rating and comment what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you later. Once again, thank you for watching.